Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I want to do a, do a video of an AOK -okay that I received a little while back, or I should say redo, because I did one uh, a few weeks back of this, and for some reason the ending of it got cut off, so I'm going to redo this. Uh, this AOK -okay is from uh, our good friend Robert Harrison 2.0. Uh, Bobby's got a great channel, uh, very diverse. Uh, He's a, a comics guy, a movies guy, a music guy, uh, you know, all the stuff that I'm interested in and love. Uh, he plays a lot of uh, old vinyl, uh, reviews movies, uh, shows clips from movies, shows comics. Uh, just a great collection of everything and a uh, very knowledgeable guy. And uh, he just, out of the blue, he sent me a message wanting to know if I could have my address. He said he wanted to send me something. I said, well, it's not necessary. I said, you know. Uh, you know, I just really appreciate you know him commenting and uh, on my videos and uh, supporting my channel just like I do all you guys. Uh, but you know, uh, Bobby's one of our friends from the north. He lives in Canada. I'm not sure if it's Vancouver or Toronto, uh, so I'm not going to say. But uh, yeah, just uh, you know how expensive the expensive it is to ship stuff from Canada and to Canada. Uh, but he was kind enough to send me this uh, AOK. -okay it's really cool stuff uh, and stuff that I didn't have. Uh, this first thing I want to show is an issue of uh, Rocket's Blast Comic Collector. This is issue 123 uh, from 1975. This was a great uh, ad zine flat or slash fanzine. Uh, has some black and white comics on the inside. Uh, this has got a great cover. By a guy, the guy named Steve Fabian, and he did uh, he did several covers for them. And this is like uh, some great sci-fi stuff. Uh, I think I think the character is called like Maxor of Sirod or Syrod or something like that. Uh, and there's a some uh, a story inside of that character by a different artist, uh, probably by the creator. But this is just uh, I love the art on this. And on the back uh, uses a lot of uh, in his inking, he used a lot of stippling, or I guess a lot of people call it pointillism, uh, to do his shading, so really finely detailed. Uh, like I say, this has got some great stuff in it. A lot of ads for comics and sci-fi stuff. Uh, there's an illustration by Severin. And we can order uh, back issues of uh, RBCC. Uh, here's a Richard Corbin drawing. And it's got a letters page. Uh, like I said, here's the aforementioned uh, Maxor of Sirod character. Some nice black and white art. Cool sci fi fantasy story. And uh, some really cool detailed stuff in this. Uh, yeah, just a lot of cool stuff. Uh, advertising upcoming uh, Comic Cons in 1975. Just uh, all kinds of stuff about comics and sci fi and pulps and uh, just a great package. You know, I'd heard of this magazine forever, but I never really owned a copy. great stuff. Uh, here's like a history of TV westerns. And an article on Space 1999. Very cool stuff. Really love that show. And here's a drawing by Don Rosa who I think later on went ahead and uh, met, uh, did some uh, Work for Disney characters. Uh, drew some Disney comics. Actually met him at a Comic Con back in the mid 2000s. Really nice guy. Okay, uh, and this is uh, sort of like critiquing upcoming magazines or comics. Uh, Jaws Mania Strikes. Stuff about the Jaws movie which came out that year. And for some reason, I remember this this cheesy movie. It was really bad, but uh, it starred William Shatner. It was a movie called Impulse. 
and he was some kind of serial killer or something like that. I can't remember, but it was pretty bad. Uh, here you have some more ads for stuff that was on sale back then, AC reprints, Flash Gordon, Terry and the Pirates, just all kinds of great stuff. And uh, this book was uh, published by James Van Hyes, if you guys remember that name. Got some pictures from the Orlando Con. Some more comics. And I got some uh, more black and white comic stories. Uh, this one is done by Kerry Gamble, some of his early work, and I don't remember ever hearing a Kerry Gamble until he started doing some of the Superman books, like in the late 80s or, late 80s or early 90s. So this is some of his early work. And an article on Dell Comics. Dell Comics are good comics. There's Pogo. Just a lot of great stuff. Okay, and order stills from uh, Star Trek magazine. So, great little package. Uh, probably will have to have some more of these in my collection. Uh, next, he sent me a copy of uh, Future magazine. This is number seven from 1979. Uh, kind of features all things sci fi and comics related. Uh, there's a great Gil Kane cover of his feature Starhawks. I think it's got a really nice uh, interview, too, from Gil Kane. Shout out to my buddy, uh, Dr. Von Chilla. John's a great, uh, huge Gil Kane fan. He got some uh, articles from sci-fi writers. Uh, let's see, here's the uh, article about Gil Kane and Starhawks. Really nice illustration there. There's some color stuff. And here's a article on a sci-fi artist, John Berkeley. It was like from the uh, 70s King Kong movie. And here's a great piece that he did. Some really, really nice sci-fi artwork. an article about the Buck Rogers in the 70s. Just, uh, just a lot of great stuff, a lot of great sci-fi art articles. So very, very cool book. Uh, here's some nice artwork. I really like this. And there's another piece that I really enjoyed out of here. Find it. There we go. But all in all, another great magazine. And last but not least, uh, he sent me a comic section from the Canadian magazine Star Weekly from December 14th, 1968. And anybody that, uh, you know, especially around my age that loves comics, I also love the comic strips especially the color section uh, that came out on Sundays. This has got some great stuff in it. A uh, little Abner by Al Cap. A uh, little Orphan Annie. And Juliet Jones, for those of you that remember that one. Forget Henry and Nancy, huh? Just great, great stuff. Brings back a lot of great memories. Uh, Mandrake the Magician. Moon Mullins and Dottie. What else we got? Scamp from Disney. Gotta believe it or not, uh, section. 
Ripley's. Mr. Abernathy, I've never heard of that one. It's pretty cool. Uh, Fliberties. <laughs> and here you got some Terry and the Pirates. Okay, what else we have here? Oh, yeah. Prince Valiant. Let's look at that artwork. Amazing stuff. One called uh, Hot Lowe's History. Not sure what that is, but. And last few pages we have some more classics. Some Popeye. And some Dick Tracy. Can't go wrong there. And one of my favorites when I was a kid, Blondie. It's great stuff. Okay, guys, that's all I got. Uh, Bobby, once again, buddy, thank you so much. That was uh, very unexpected and uh, not necessary. I just, you know, I just appreciate it if people watch my channel, you know. But uh, the comic community is, is uh, just a great community to be a part of, and I'm. Uh, Humbly grateful and proud to be a part of it. So, uh, everybody, check out Bobby's channel, Robert Harrison 2.0. You will not be disappointed. Onward and upward.